Hello, today we are going to design a mandala clay cutter. It looks like this and we will do it in a Shaper 3D, but before that we will use an app available on App Store called Amazograph to make a drawing of our cutter. It looks like this, it costs about $3 and the link for the app is in the description of the video, so please check it out. After making the drawing we will save it as PNG file and now we will convert it using the convertio.co website from PNG to DXF and we will use this file in our Shaper 3D and we will import our file Yes, this is it. Okay, first thing we will do, we will mark those little small spaces that are too small, we don't want them in our cutter. So we mark them all. Okay, this one, a small dot here, and another one here. Yeah, and we delete all of them. We draw a line for about, let's say, 25 millimeters, more or less. It will be the size of our cutter. Maybe we'll do it slightly bigger. We select all of the spaces, blank spaces in a cutter. We select them all. We click scale. And by clicking one of the icons here, we have to scale it down a little bit. Not, not a little bit, a lot actually. It's way too big now. Okay. Still too big, so we have to scale it down some more. It's better. We can always try to move the object near our line. That's 25 millimeters. Thanks for watching so far. If you are enjoying the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Yeah, let's make it 0 0.7 here. All right, I guess it's okay. We can stick with that size so we can delete this line. We don't need it anymore. Okay, so this is 0 0.7 here. All right. Next thing, we have to click on the outer line here. This is it. And we click offset edge and make an offset of 0 0.4 millimeters. Then we make another one, offset edge of 0 0.6 millimeters. And the last one will be 2 millimeters for holding the cutter. Mm -hmm. This is it. These are our offsets. So we click this one, make 2 millimeters extrude. This one will make 10 millimeters extrude. Take a while, and this one here, 14 millimeters extrude. It can take a little while. All right. This is our drawing from the top view. We have to maybe we'll make some small adjustments in the pattern. I think we can uh, add some lines here. Yeah, maybe maybe or other way around maybe it, yeah so we can draw a, an arc here here it's too big here yes yep and here so we can join all the points here and now we select this part and make an extrusion extrude 12.5 millimeters up 
perfect. The shape looks really nice, really organic. The mandala style is quite nice. What we need, we have to make an additional support for the cutter. So we'll have to draw a circle like here. Let's say here. Okay, then we have to click on the circle. We'll make an offset edge. Okay, once again, it has to be offset edge single. Yeah, let's make minus minus two. Yeah, let's make it minus two millimeters. All right, perfect. And one, yep. And one more. And one more. Two millimeters. Now rectangle, let's say more or less 35 millimeters and six millimeters. Again, these are our supports for the cutter. Now we can click on all the spaces from the rectangle. And from the circle as well. Let's maybe use this one. We have to click all of them more or less just to have a better holding. So the when you print the cutter, all the small stuff is in its place and it will not fall off from the it will not damage. Uh, yeah, so you have to make some more uh, some more support. Uh, for this cutting blade for this pattern because it has some small stuff inside as you can see so it's better to uh, have some more of them of the support the circle and this rectangle is is enough of course you can try with your own uh, supports sometimes it can be circles sometimes uh, squares but circles are good oh, some small stuff here you can yeah mark it as well yeah, more or less, I think it's it's okay. Maybe we'll mark these ones as well, the small parts. Okay, I guess it's okay. Now we can make an extrusion, extrude. Let's say three millimeters. Perfect. This is our cutter. Looks really, really nice. Think that the support is enough for the cutting it's more or less it's not even three centimeters so it's good we can see how it can look with the color so this is it okay so now we can export it to stl file print it on our printer now i will be using uh, ender printer to print it and that's it I hope you liked it. I hope you liked this tutorial. If so, please uh, please leave a comment, leave a like and subscribe so for some more stuff connecting with uh, designing in 3D for DIY stuff and clay. Thank you very much and bye-bye. Thank you.